Hey guys, Joshua Kadamu here with another toy review, and today I'm reviewing Mara Jade um, from Star Wars The Black Series. I have no idea what that means because I'm not a Star Wars collector. But I am a 3 and 3 quarter inch G.I. Joe collector um, who uses them as stop motion animation. When I saw this head sculpt, I was like, wow. Because that is a really good head sculpt. Even the eyes are really good. The just really good. She is like ideal custom Joe fodder. And uh, I won't necessarily do that to her. But I also wanted to make sure I reviewed her before I did anything. And uh, she's really cool. Comes with this really neat gun. See that there? It's a nice little pistol. It's got this uh, holster that has pop-off action. I mean, like, that is, that is incredibly designed by Hasbro. Um, no, but really, um, it can go here, or it can go behind your back, on this hole here, and that's definitely a nice feature. You have to appreciate that, that you can customize it just a little bit. That's kind of a purplish beam saber, or a uh, lightsaber, sorry. I'm a Gundam fan, they call them beam sabers there. Got the... Nice silver shiny hilt, which uh, actually broke on me during uh, unpacking. I have to note that uh, thinking as a three and three quarter inch GI Joe collector, sideways this looks like a flashlight, an old school flashlight. <laughs> oh, I know someone hates me now, but <laughs> that plugs right in there, and it's really cool, and it can be super glued if you break it in half, which kind of stinks. Um, that it broke in half, but it did. Foot has lots of flexibility here in the ankle. That's nice. Sometimes the Star Wars figures kind of get gypped on flexibility. Like, if you compare them to the three-quarter inch G.I. Joes. She can't do the splits or anything, but she has good articulation. Arms go completely around. Very feminine arms. Um, hands. This hand's kind of pointing, which is kind of cool. Could make for some cool action poses. The hair is just great. Lots of flexibility up here in the chest. The head can turn because the hair is flexible. And that that's really nice. Because sometimes you end up with things that the hair is not flexible and it does not work. And uh, the head can come off. So that should you want to make a custom G.I. Joe or something like that. This is uh, one of my Federation repaints for uh, Gundam. And... Uh, base coat. The paint wasn't very good, so it scrapes off and shows silver, but you get the idea. Bam! Custom G.I. Joe. Woo! But I actually like this body type quite a bit. It's not too outlandish, so I think a little green paint on the legs or something, and I could have a good Xeon soldier, even paint or gray. I think it might work. Um, sorry, Star Wars fans, but uh, I'm making my own stop-motion animation series, and I'm a customizer. That's what I do. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the review. I highly recommend this figure, both for uh, G.I. Joe customizers and uh, for Star Wars collectors. It's, it's a really well-made figure. The head sculpt is just fabulous. It's a gorgeous figure. Um, if you're looking for cool toys, make sure to check out our eBay store. Gundam's R Us, your favorite arms dealer. We have all kinds of cool toys, and we get new stuff all the time. Catch you guys later.